adults from all over Utah County spent one Saturday morning racking their brains and spelling their hearts out for a great cause. Today we're having our fourth annual Adult Spelling Bee or Spelling Bee for Grown Ups. Essentially it's um, a fundraiser for Project Read. We get teams of three adults and they come together and they spell to be crowned 2010 Spelling Bee Champion. It's kind of a fun thing. I didn't want it to be one of the uh, stressful, scary, Scripps Howard spelling bees like you watch on television. We wanted people to have fun with it. They get to come in costume, they have team names. Um, we just wanted it to be a fun event, raise some money for Project Read, and get the community involved at the same time. Well, we're here to support Project Read. It's a fundraiser, and we love spelling. My siblings and I were in spelling bees all through school, and we can't get enough. We wish we were still in eighth grade, so here we are to try to prove we haven't forgotten everything. Well, I think it reminds people that there are people in society who can't read and write, who don't have that skill, and that we should be appreciative of the skills that we do have, and hopefully that they can contribute back, contribute back to a worthy cause that is helping to break the cycle of illiteracy. Um, I think it's fun for the community, first of all, for people to come out and to see their friends and family compete and having fun. Um, it's fun for um, the program itself, uh, for people to show um, some support. Um, it's all for raising money for helping um, this program teaching literacy to others. And, um, and I think it's just kind of a, a fun thing to look forward to every year. We've done it four years in a row now. So September 8th was International Literacy Day, and so we're kind of celebrating the start of school. A lot of people start thinking about literacy, reading, writing, those sorts of things as, as they get back into school. And so we hope that they will remember those who aren't as fortunate that can't read and write. Um, if they want to come out, volunteer, donate time, donate their money, we would, we would love to have their help and support, and it, it truly changes lives. For more information about Project READ, visit www.projectread.com.